How does funding change a picture of a company? Are there any new expectations to grow, let's say, or anything that they should know before they just kind of like a lot of people will think, oh, to start a company, I have to raise money, mm -hmm. which isn't always true. But of course, if you want to grow fast, that is something that's the quickest path to get there. Would yeah. you say there's anything that that changes significantly that founders ought to be aware of? Yeah, the first one was, the first thing I would say is the fork in the road that you hinted at, which is tech founders mostly. So when I say founders and I say startups, in my world it's it's tech startups. You know, There are other founders that start other types of businesses that are not tech. So when I say founders and startups, I'm thinking tech. Um, the founder or founding team should really decide for themselves what is success. A lot of founders come into it and because of the influence we have with everything that's around us, we kind of default, just assume that means raise multiple rounds of funding, grow into a unicorn, right. celebrate, make a billion dollars, be the next Elon Musk or whoever, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not necessarily the case. A, a lot of founders find themselves having built a company that is consistently generating a million or two million or maybe 10 million a year in revenue. They've got 10 or 20 or 50 happy you know, employees and tens or hundreds or thousands of happy customers or users and they just don't have the ability to scale beyond that. But that could be great success. That could be really rewarding. That could be a great company. So not every company needs necessarily or should go down the venture funding path. When you go down that fork of the road, important implications come with it. When you borrow money from a bank or you take out a mortgage for a home, you probably know the bank or the mortgage company expects their money back with interest. When you go down the venture funding path, the venture style investors, they don't just want their money back, they want 10 times their money back. And that's because so many of the other investments crash and burn that they need outliers that really give them a huge return. So I talk about fundraising each time you raise a round of venture style funding, angel investors, VCs, you know, whatever, each time you raise that round of funding, you are signing up for a new tour of duty until you have delivered a significant return on investment to that, that stage of investor. Mm -hmm. It's a really important decision. And going into each one, okay, you're about to raise a Series A. Are you and the team prepared to row on the oars as hard as possible until you've given those Series A investors a 10x return on their investment? Yes? Okay, awesome. Let's go. Series B. Hey team, are we ready to sign up for the next tour of duty so we can give the Series B investors a significant return on their investment? It's lost on a lot of founders that with each of those you are signing up for an important tour of duty. Um, so that would be a significant implication that needs to be understood. Absolutely. And who shouldn't raise money? Well, there's two, raise, two reasons to raise money. You either want the money or you need the money. And most fundraising founders uh, raise money because they need it, meaning if they don't raise money, they otherwise are gonna have a bank account that ends up with a dollar sign followed by a zero and they have to pack up their toys and go home. Um, this is because their revenues are not exceeding their expenses, you know, or their gross profits not exceeding their expenses and they don't have a viable business. So, okay, we have to, you know, if you want to keep going, then, you know, you have to raise money or dial back and reset your expectations. Um, want is different. There are some founders that are raising money because they want it. They don't have to have it. Their bank account's not going to go to zero, but they aspire to accomplish more faster. They want to shift two gears as opposed to just gradually moving a mm -hmm. little bit faster, right? They, they want to take this and they want it to go like that. Startups that raise money out of want have a lot of options. If they don't like the valuation, they don't have to raise. If they want to raise five million, but there's not five million of interest, there's only three million of interest, they could choose to take a lower amount of money. They could choose to wait and grow into their shoes, grow into the, the valuation. So there are times not to raise money. Um, that could be the founders that are raising out of want and the conditions just aren't there. Well, then don't raise money. You know, wait. 
Um, it's a personal decision. That's yeah. the other thing. You know, I, again, you might choose to not raise money because you and the founding team are not ready to sign up for that tour of duty. You've been working on this for eight or ten years, and you're getting tired, and you want to ring the cash register and move on to the next thing. You know, things yeah. like that. 